Now, the purpose of today's demo was to show you how automating and integrating email will help your office and business become more efficient because we find that a lot of times individuals use Outlook as their personal document management system, which is great for that personal or that person or individual. The issue that we found is that that information stays with that individual if they are off, not at the office, or we need to collaborate on something. Unfortunately, that information is quote unquote siloed or stuck with that one individual. What Docker will allow you to do is take the information stored inside of the Docker system, which then becomes searchable and is easily collaborated on amongst an entire office that has access to those particular files. Those access levels are controlled strictly by the company and by the access levels that they like to deem fit. What I can do is I can start here. You're going to see I have a few different things in my inbox here. I have some applications. I have an invoice. I've got a few things with that with more attachments in them and then a few other emails as well. I'm gonna start by taking this email right here. I can double click on this and view it as well as I like, or I can view it here right inside of Outlook. You'll notice here DocuWare has buttons built directly into it that are completely customizable per the user. We also have a DocuWare button built here in the center, as well as buttons built right here into the toolbar. For those of you like myself, I like to do the right click. And you can store and search right here inside of Docuware. One of the key reasons why this is important is because Docuware is working in the background. We don't want to, we're not trying to change or do anything revolutionary here to make it or disrupt the way people are doing or companies are doing business, but keep them inside of systems that they're already familiar with. Everyone's familiar with Outlook and their email system. So I can take this here and all I'm going to simply do is store this document right here inside of DocuWare. I select the move mail feature and you're going to see notification window populates and it says, okay, let's index this or let's give this some information here before we store it. I can open up the mail and I can take information directly from the email to store it. So I can populate the company name here, which is the first thing that it asked for. And I can populate that right into the company field. I can also go ahead and notice here how it says no entries found. Docuware's or Outlook here, it's referencing our Docuware database. So if there was already that company in there, it would correlate to that to that company. That way we didn't get any duplicates. And I can go ahead and select that contact as well. We should get the same message. And I'll go ahead and say that's enough there. Now I know that this is all related to that same project that I started on. Again, referencing the Docuware database. Everything else was already filled in from the email, and I simply click on store. Once that email is archived, you'll get a you'll get a document successfully archived notification, and that email will disappear from the inbox. If I want to find any information, maybe from that same sender, I just simply click on quick search, and this window will populate. This search window will populate right here inside of Outlook. And there's that email that I just stored. If I get one more email from that same sender, which I actually did in this particular instance, and I go ahead and select to store this in DocuWare, notice here, now that I've stored documents from this particular company and contact, DocuWare's database now has this already populated. So again, I don't have to type in that again. I do not have to redo that. I can, if I like, select the project that I know this is in reference to and click on store. If I refresh this here, this search, you're going to see now there's two items in that particular search bar. Now stored inside of DocuWare, fully text searchable, and easily collaborated on across the entire organization. Which leads to my next point, which is getting emails with attachments that you can't even open. I know a lot of companies, when I ask this, I get mixed, mixed reviews when I'm in front of a crowd. Uh, some companies, maybe architectural, drawings, um, different companies get and receive files that they cannot open because they do not have that particular license to open it or that particular software installed. And you'll notice here I just received a DXF file, which I do not actually have the software to view this document on. And what we find ends up happening is emails like this will come in, large files, they'll be sent across the entire organization to 10, 15 different people, 
Every single one of them tries to open it, realizes they don't have the thing, but they still download it and they save it probably on their desktop and all of them are under different names. And at the end of the day, maybe half of them didn't even need it. So we're taking up server space, using our Exchange server as well. And all of these things are getting stored and passed around. When in fact, all we need to simply do is take this document, store it inside of the DocuWare system. I'm gonna select the move attachments here and I'll show you why in a second. We're gonna take this attachment. I'm gonna actually select to store the email, but I wanna store the attachment first. You can choose to store the email when showing the email first or the attachment first when you store it in the Docker system. I'm going to store the attachment first since that's what I'm going to reference here when we go to the next screen. Again, all of this was populated from the Docker system, pulling it from the email. I can go ahead again, attach this to a project. The reason I'm attaching all of these to the project is that way at the end of the day, when I go to do a search, I'm going to have one area where I can go and I can search for this project and I'm gonna find all of this information. I can choose to filter my result list based on document type or maybe contact, but if I wanna find all of this, I can see it right there by simply searching for the project. Once I store that document inside of the DocuWare system, you'll notice that attachment is scrubbed from the email. I chose to keep this email inside of my inbox because I can, and I can go ahead and I can go ahead into the DocuWare system and if I wanted to do a search for that, I can go ahead and search for that project, as we mentioned, into the cabinet that I stored it into. So if I do a search by project, I can use my drop down and select the project that I want to reference, do a search, which we've already shown how to do. And you'll see it should be my top result. And I chose to store the attachment first. So while this is loading, you're gonna see a CAD drawing that at first was stored in my inbox. I couldn't open it. I probably would have scanned it and sent it to, or, or at least emailed it to a bunch of different people taking up space. Now it's actually stored in my system. I can view the document and it's also full text search capable as well. So if I wanted to just run a quick search and the only thing I knew about this was the word layout in that bottom right hand corner, which I'll zoom in to show. Scroll down and over. The word layout appears here, and I'm just trying to pick one word that stands out. The word layout right here in the bottom left-hand corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear out all of these, all of this information right here. Close out of that, reset my search. And all I'm gonna simply do is type in the word layout into my full text search keyboard, proving a point or validating a point that DocuWare actually reads every single piece of information on your document. I should get probably just one result. There we go. I double click on this and it should bring us there, it does. It brings us right back to that drawing and it actually takes us not only to the document, but it actually highlights that word in red. And if this was on multiple pages, if this was a 200 page document, it would take me right to page 127, hypothetically, where that word layout appears. And if it appeared more than once in the document, the next time it sees it, it will come through in yellow. So I just took a document that I couldn't even open, stored it in DocuWare, allowed it to be collaborated on across my entire organization and made it full text search capable as well. Really, really powerful tool. All starting inside of Outlook. <laughs>